After her return to video games as an inexperienced archaeologist in 2013, Lara Croft is back in Rise of the Tomb Raider. The game takes place after the 2013 game, and in it we see Lara much more confident in herself and her tomb raiding skills, tracking down some myths that her father was obsessed with before he died. Rise of the Tomb Raider has Lara traveling to places like Syria and Siberia in order to find what her father was searching for. A lot of the gameplay will be basically the same as the previous game, and that's definitely not a bad thing. The biggest addition to the gameplay is the massive tombs to explore. These were a hallmark of the Tomb Raider franchise since the beginning, but they didn't really seem to have a place in the 2013 game, which was focused a lot more on establishing the new Lara's character and personality. We have seen that the game will really allow you to customize how you take Lara through the game. The game will allow you to be super stealthy or super aggressive, or a mixture of both if you want. Lara can level up in either the Brawler, Survivor, or Hunter categories. Each of these will change how you play the game, and some level ups will give you super cool abilities. For example, in Hunter, you'll eventually get the double shot ability, which allows you to kill two people by shooting two arrows at once. There's definitely going to be a lot of action in Rise of the Tomb Raider, but from what we've seen, the story is not neglected at all. Lara's quest to find the things her father was obsessed with gives us a piece of her past, while we also learn what she's capable of in the future. Rise of the Tomb Raider will be released exclusively on Xbox One on November 10th. It will be released for PlayStation 4 and PC later in 2016. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to see more video game sneak peeks.